Hi guys, welcome back to the channel and I hope you liked the last video. Today I will be covering the new banners from Rosmontis to Passenger on the current CN banner. As usual, this banner tier list will be for F2P or Dolphin players concerning their wallet health. And with that said, let's hop right into it. Please subscribe and like the video if it helped you. The next upcoming banner on N will be Rosmontis and Mudrock. Speaking as a doctor who got both of them, Mudrock will be more useful in future content due to her strength as a 3 block AoE damage defender and her ridiculous SP regeneration paired with Blemish Shine on her Mastery 3 skill too. If you're a sucker for story and lore you might want to prioritize Rosmontis instead. Rosmontis is not weak per SE, but takes a backseat in comparison to Mudrock. If you don't have good AoE snipers like W or Meteorite, you might want to go for Rosmontis. The 5 star unit in this banner is Whisperain, and is one of my favorite 5 star medics to use due to her thighs. You'll get a bunch of her rolling for mud and ROS so don't sweat too much about getting her. After Mudrock's release comes Mountain's banner, along with Kafka and Pinecone. Mountain is another reliable sustained DPS guard on PAR with Blaze and Thorns. His skill 2 pumps out high levels of sustained damage to 2 units while recovering health for himself, and Mountain's skill 3 is a burst skill like Bagpipe's skill 3, but ranged. He is also one of the core units used to clear high risk on CC lead seal, the Rock Golem CC Pinecone is a very very good 4 star executor archetype sniper very commonly used in low rarity clear walkthroughs in CN. Roll for her if you don't have executor. Arketo's banner is next after Mountain, and good news for those with Exuge. You can skip this banner. Archetto is a middling fast sniper, and while she is strong enough as a 6 star, she doesn't stand out in any way. Whereas in her banner, Beanstalk and Iris stands out more as unique operators to go for. Beanstalk is the first ranged vanguard in the game, and can summon crabs infinitely on one spot as long as she is on the field. S1 and S2 regain 8 and 12 DP on skill usage respectively, Beanstalk is definitely an interesting operator to pull for. The 5 star on Arketo's banner is Iris, a very strong single target mage with a bit of a weird range. The longer Iris doesn't attack, the stronger her next attack is. Her empowered auto attack deals enough damage to one shot elite explosive frost spiders in annihilation, and her skill 2 puts enemies to sleep while dealing big AoE damage after the sleep ends. A very good option if you are tired of using Amiya and Nightmare. Go for the 10 pull guarantee on this banner and save your resources if you are F2P and tight on money. The CNY Limited banner, Hidden Moon, introduces Dusk, Nian's sister, Saga, a perpetually hungry monk, and Mr. Nothing, who is as bad as his name suggests. Dusk is a 6 star AoE caster that attacks with a sword and all her skills has upgraded calligraphy ink effects. She is the strongest normal range AoE caster in the game, excluding Ifrit because of her special range. Her S2 is Gitano S2, but without the self-stun and with only half the SP cost. Her skill 3 gives her Mistima S3 S skill range, and summons a little instinct monster at the target location. She also gets a permanent 2% attack buff per enemy she kills, up to 15 times at E2. Combine this with Ejafiala and she gets an almost 50% attack increase once she finishes stacking. Saga is the second limited 6 star on this banner, and arguably the better unit. She's a siege archetype vanguard, but significantly better. Her trait makes it so that she leaves the enemy at 1% HP, and whoever kills the enemy, Saga S2 or other allies, gains 2 SP. This makes warm-up type allies like Flamebringer and Thorns charge up exponentially faster. Her skill 2, Cleansing Evil gains 4 DP on activation, deals 400% physical DMG to a cap of 6 enemies, and execute anyone that is crippled. This skill only takes 13 SP, so if you manage to execute all 6 enemies you can use S2 again immediately. 
S3 is a support type DP Regan skill, giving her more range and hitting two enemies at the same time. This leaves enemies crippled and ripe for killing for the guard behind her like thorns and blaze. If there's a steady stream of enemies, Saga can charge up Blaze's 70 SP skill in the 20 second duration of her S3. Apart from her monstrous supporting ability, she is so strong she's able to one-shot Patriot with buffs. And, lastly, MR nothing is a worse RNGJ. Don't go for him unless Waifu. After CNY is a collab banner between Ubisoft's Rainbow Six and R Knights including Ash, Frost, and Blitz. Ash is a 6-star fast sniper that deals controlled burst and pushback damage on S2 and S3. Using S2, Ash tosses out a stun grenade to an enemies and enter Exu's burst mode. She also deals double damage to stunned enemies in this duration. Comparing Ash S2 to Exu S3, Ash will always perform better if the enemy is able to be stunned. Ash S2 is also one of the only fast sniper that can kill the artillery drone in Chapter 8 which has 800 defense, while Exu struggles with the high defense. S3 is a weedy S3 burst, but can only be activated twice per deployment. Anyone without a good fast sniper might want to get Ash while you can, because there is a high chance that this banner will not come back ever. Blitz is a Liskerm style defender that is one of the only operators in the game to be able to stun in an AoE range. Frost is a trap type support dealing massive amounts of damage to enemies trapped in her welcome mats. In a nutshell, collectors will want to roll for this banner specifically because it will probably never return in the future just like the KFC skins, and the units are a solid pick for anyone that are just starting out. Our current banner on CN is the new Skid Bishonen Passenger, the first 5-star Rosa archetype Totophones, and a buffing type Welfare Defender Heavy Rain. Passenger is a 6-star single target chain slow caster like Lizzie, and unfortunately just as bad. His damage is subpar for his 33 cost, and his S3 is a staggering 30 SP cost for only a measly 4 SP cast. Unless you're super into Skid Bishonen like me, do not go for Passenger. Even newbies will find themselves struggling when you get Passenger due to his huge cost and low damage. Totophones is a Rosa type sniper that deals delayed damage on her S2. She is a solid unit but overall not needed in case you trigger pity on this banner. Skip unless Waifu, 